It has been quite a stretch here in the Exumas. The weather's been particularly fantastic this winter. The water's very warm. It's really hard to leave. Just one little problem. We haven't been to a grocery store in two and a half weeks. We have got so much freaking food. Do we have board. fresh food? Uh, no, we don't have any fresh food. Oh, you might be saying, why not just get something from the ocean? And I hope we get some fish, some mahi. So close. We lost the fish. We got a fish on, but darn it, it was a barracuda again. Barracuda? Darn it. It's been a couple years. I said years since we've landed a mahi or a mackerel or a wahoo. Hopefully our fishing luck is about to change. <laughs> Fish on! All right, Nick is picking up our friends. They're gonna take us fishing today on a clarity. We're gonna learn how to fish from the experts. These guys, these guys haul them in. I mean, every time we see them, they're like, we have so much fish, we have to give some to you because we can't fit it into the freezer. <laughs> so we're hoping that that rubs off. You're saying that we, we need a rod holder? I'm not sure, but uh, yes, put a little bit of money in that. Oh yeah, we need some. If you don't have that, where, where you put the, the rod? I don't want to brag, but <laughs> and also, I'm very strong. And also for the style. My Look style at that. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Diving plug and uh, this kind of lure go around six to seven feet deep. Yeah, I always use two rod. It's good to have a, a lure on surface and a, a diving plug. You have different way to fish. Uh, here in the Bahamas and the Exuma, we, we have the bank and we have the ocean side. And on the bank, I use more small lure imitation of a uh, of squid, a spoon, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. A spoon. And the, on the ocean side, Smai, Tuna, and Wahoo, they eat some big fish. And on the ocean side, with the wave, if you use a small lure in the water, they, they, they can not see very well the lure. If you use a big one, it's better. Okay. But now it's time to put the lure in the water. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I use 100 pound breaded line. And it's very, very thin, and you can put more inside of the reel. You can put in, in this one, I have two kilometer of line. When you catch a big fish in the, on the ocean side and the fish and you go nine knots with the sail and the fish go 50 knots on the other side, you need to have a lot of line inside of your reel. And it's important to have big swivel, big leader because here it's big fish with teeth. If you use a 20 or 30 pounds line, you're gonna lost everything and you can eat tacos. <laughs> That's good. Okay. I put a resistance on the line because it's a di it's a diving plug. The lure is gonna go at the bottom and you're gonna hit the coral and the, and the resistance here not not too stiff. It's too stiff. The line gonna go with the, the fish and not and not too soft. Uh, soft. Just just a middle middle resistance. I'm doing the difficult job here, uh, maintaining proper caffeine levels. We've got uh, one half calf puls pulsing through the veins. I'm working on my second half calf. A longer line on the side, like today, 150 feet on the starboard side, and this one I'm going to put around 100 feet. And actually, I used the same kind of lure. Last week uh, was a very good lure. <laughs> <laughs> we are breaking the curse today. But, <laughs> but it's not guarantee, but I, I'm positive. I'm positive. Yeah. A fish bite the lure, you have to do a two or three move like that. And with the mahi, when it's jumping, if you don't do something like that, you're gonna, uh, the fish going to lose the lure. With all this expertise and fishing gear on board, if we don't catch something today, 
It's us. We are absolutely cursed. Here, fishy, fishy. We have some fish. We have some fish in the freezer. <laughs> okay, so what's happening? We change the color and uh, the same kind of lure. We start with the uh, red and, and white. And uh, if you take a look, there's a lot of bite here. It's a good one. We're gonna try this one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ruby. Happy birthday to you. All right, we are approaching the famous waypoint. 500 feet. 500 feet. <laughs> Here we go. Fish on! Woo! Oh, it's a nice one. Nice. Martin! Woo. What do you hope? It's a mountain snapper. And normally a barracuda after 30 seconds, it's it's very, very easy. Mountain snapper, that's a good fight. You have to play with the, the tension. And when the fish can want to go away, just keep it because you can lose the fish. Nick, can you uh, go back? We're backing up. Normally, it's easier, but now. <laughs> because actually, I don't feel the fish. Maybe it's stuck in the hole and. Yeah. If the fish go in a crack, you have, you have to pass through the, through the hole. Oh, no. I lost him. No. Oh. No, 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 no. You got him? Yeah. Maybe he just, yeah, he, he, maybe he's not in the hole now. Okay. Hey, maybe oh. neutral. Oh no! no. Oh! Yeah. Oh! oh. oh. I'm, I'm sure he was in a crack. Oh. Okay, continue. Okay. Oh. Onward. <laughs> so close! That was crazy. Whoop whoop! Brand new and look at the bite. Ah, somebody tried to Man. take it. Yeah. Oh, but it's not a fit. A two fish. fish. No, it's a scale. Oh, scale. Scale. It was a big mountain snapper. <laughs> Well, that didn't go well. It's okay, we're gonna keep trying. We got all this fishing stuff. I even had like the best fishermen in the entire Bahamas with us. We didn't catch a fish. I think it's time for you to talk to somebody else besides me about fishing. I'll try anything. You're gonna have to trust me on this one. I will. you think you can do better than this? Because that one looks creepy. That is Williams. 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 The wind had turned on us overnight last night. We were on a lee shore. Anchors held nice and firm, so no big deal. We're gonna get an early start out here, head down to Georgetown and hopefully redeem ourselves. Down. It's just gorgeous out. I really wish we could keep going. But we need to stop in Georgetown and get propane and groceries and see some friends. So it'll
it'll be a nice stop, but man, these conditions are just so perfect, so comfortable. I think we're going like six knots downwind. Doing as the master said. Now we got two lines out, one hand line that's a bit closer to the boat. That's got a squid on it. And then we're running the single rod that we've got a little further out than we have been. It's maybe 200 feet behind. All right, we're going 5.2 knots downwind with the head sail only. And we're in about 30 meters, no, 50 meters of water. So 150 feet. And this is where the magic is supposed to happen. How are you feeling, Nick? Feeling good. Lucky? Oh yeah, always lucky. You think we should change out the lure for a banana? I don't know, man. What's that, Williams? You, you think I should check and see if there's any seaweed on the line? That's a good idea, okay. Megan, Megan, Williams was right. There was seaweed on the line. Thanks, Williams. You're taking care of us. This is as close as we can get to seafood. That is a can of smoked oysters. was not meant to be for the O'Kellys today. So why do you think we're not catching fish? We are doing everything right. And the only explanation is that we, Clarity, the O'Kellys have a curse put on us. A curse? Somebody hexed us. And I don't know how to get it off. Can you Google that? I think Williams needs a talking to. In fact, I want to get inside his brain. <laughs> I'm going to drink his nectar. <laughs> We gotta get something out of this deal. So I guess the secret's out. We can't even keep this private anymore. We are the world's worst fisher people. You took a poll. Yeah, I took on... a poll. And this is, I said, do you think we caught a fish today? A hundred percent of the people say no. <laughs> <laughs> I think they know. They were right. We're vegan. Yeah, we should just become <laughs> vegans. Okay, today I am going to show you a very healthy, nutritious little snack. It can be part of a meal or just a, a midday snack. And it's very simple to make. We use tofu, nutritional yeast, olive oil, tamari or soy sauce, and garlic powder. And that's it. First, you drain the tofu. We're just going to slice it into little rows and then we'll cube it from there. This is really simple. One tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of olive oil, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then one eighth cup of nutritional yeast. And throw in the tofu. I like this part, you get your hand in there, maybe two hands, you coat it really well. Throw it on your parchment paper. Pop it in the oven. The oven's been preheated to 450 and I'll check this in about 20 minutes and flip it all around and probably bake it for another 20 minutes until it's crispy. All right, these are done. Do you hear that? They shrank. Sizzling. Since I've, I've got the oven hot, I'm going to keep the oven going and roast the sweet potatoes on the same parchment. Okay, drizzle on here. No popcorn. 
<laughs> that on there? I go like this. Uh, mini cereal. And now I'm gonna get back to my workout. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Oh. A few chips. Nice. A few chips to go with our burgers. Oh, look at that. Nick on the Bergs. That's right. Cheeseburgs. <laughs> Cheeseburgs in paradise. paradise. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> this is what meals look like when we haven't been to a grocery store in two and a half weeks. So we're missing our fresh green veggies. You are such a drama queen. Oh my Okay, I do gosh. have zucchini in the fridge. We have got so much freaking food. Do we have board. fresh food? Yes. Salads? We don't have salad. That's what I'm talking about. But people survive for years without salad. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna keep trying. I missed you. Action? Action. It's okay, we're gonna keep trying. So when I say Q, I need the tears. <coughs> okay, I'll try anything. Don't smile. <laughs> I'll try anything. No, I'm smiling. <laughs> I need to piss you. Ah, no, 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 no. Pissed, sad. I'll try anything. What are we gonna do? <laughs> do you trust me? No. <laughs> no, I do. You are the camera. Oh, should my hair get out of the way? So then I have to say my line, which is, you need someone else to talk to you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm gonna say, and then back on me, I'm gonna say, do you trust me? Okay. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Don't make me smile. I'll try anything. 